What's going on guys, Reflex here and today I'm bringing you guys this amazing bot lobby glitch here in Modern Warfare Multiplayer and before we get right into that, I'm giving away a free Damascus camo account to one of you guys that is watching this video right now. All you guys have to do for a chance to win is like the video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on, drop a comment of your Activision ID down in the comment section below and the winner will be announced in my next Modern Warfare video. A huge shout out to Tyler1 for actually winning the last actual account that I gave away here on the channel. Congratulations on winning that. Reply to your comment and actually accept my prayer request on Activision so I can go ahead and send you your account, man. Now that I'm out of the way, also I am giving away a free bonus account to one of you guys that goes over to the video in the description below and drops a comment over there saying Damascus. I'm going to give away about three accounts for that, so all you guys have to do, go to the link in the description below in the top of the comments, drop a comment saying Damascus, and you guys will win a free account. Now that out of the way, before we want to get right into this amazing Damascus camo glitch, I do want to get a couple of things out of the way. I'm not responsible if you guys get banned, reset, or anything like that. I'm just making these videos for educational purposes only. If you guys do want to use them, use them at your own risk. I'm not responsible for that. And I'm not responsible if you guys get banned, lose your account, or anything like that. You guys do this at your own risk, like I said. Uh, so yeah, it's completely up to you guys if you guys do want to do these methods and I'm not forcing you guys to do them or telling you guys to do them at all. Now also, if you guys are looking for a cheap, legit, and reliable Damascus camo account or a bot lobby for Modern Warfare, head on over to the top link of the description below. Use code REFLEX for 5% off your purchase over there and you guys can get a cheap, legit, and reliable and trusted Modern Warfare Damascus camo account or you guys can get a really cheap and legit reliable lobby that you guys can use in modern warfare to get challenges camo challenges accolades unlocks and all that stuff inside of modern warfare once again that is the top link in the description below um if you guys are interested in any of that now with that being said before we're going to get right into this amazing damascus camo glitch i do want to go ahead and say that you guys should go down in the description below and you guys should check out the video that i did a couple of days ago or it might be one day now that i'm uploading this i'm trying to upload this um back to back days and i'm trying to really get into a habit of daily uploading for you guys because a lot of you guys are wanting me to start daily uploading again and really just uploading a lot of methods here on the channel I know a lot of methods, but the reason I do not daily upload is because I have to test the methods and it takes some time to do that. Uh, so I really don't have the time to basically double upload and upload a method that I don't know if it works or not. So I really want to make sure the method works on all consoles before I go ahead and upload the video onto the channel. Now with all that being said, before we want to get right into this amazing Damascus camo glitch here on the channel, I do not recommend you guys using this on your main account. I never tell you guys to use them on your main account and I never will. I recommend you guys making a new account, an alt account, a throwaway account for free. Go ahead and make an account and make a secondary account to do any of these glitches on and do any of these lobbies on when you guys are on Modern Warfare. If you guys do these on your main account, you guys will get banned because of the stats that you guys already have on your main account is going to be way different than the stats that you guys are going to be getting from doing the lobby and way faster unlocks than you guys are normal or that the anti-cheat software actually has you guys registered and how like fast you guys actually unlock stuff within the game. So basically you guys want to go ahead and make a new account and basically you guys will have fresh stats and all that stuff on that new account and do it on that account. I know it sucks you guys can't use it on your main account, but hey, this is going to work and you guys are going to get Damascus from doing this method. Uh, just do not take the chance on getting banned because if you guys do get banned on Modern Warfare, then you guys will actually end up getting banned on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Steam, Battle.net, all that stuff. You guys will also get banned on there as well if you guys get banned on Modern Warfare because of the anti-cheat software. It actually bans your entire account off of both servers. So you guys will not be able to log back into that account if you guys get banned on that account that you guys do the glitch on. That's why I always say make a new account because if you guys make a new account, then usually you guys won't have anything bought on that on that account and you guys won't have like any end game purchases and all that stuff and you guys really won't care if it gets banned. So it is way safer and it is way easier if you guys just make an alt account, a throwaway account, a secondary account when you guys are doing these methods on. It's way easier, it goes way faster and you guys can basically get into these glitches a little bit easier. I've noticed if I do it on an alt account or a secondary account um, or a throwaway account, I actually get into the lobby and I actually get a lot of these glitches done a lot faster and a lot easier than I actually did on my main account. Sometimes the glitch doesn't work on my main account for whatever reason, and then when I switch accounts or switch Activision IDs, it actually works a lot better that way as well. So now what you guys will need when you guys are doing this glitch is you guys will actually need a friend online. You guys will need a friend online to help you guys do this glitch. If you guys are in need of finding a friend, go ahead and drop your Activision ID with your console down in the comment section below, and I'm sure somebody will help you guys out down in the comment section below for doing this method. So if you guys are in need of a friend or you guys need a buddy or somebody else just to kind of help you guys do this glitch, if you guys really don't know what you're doing, you guys are looking for help, and if somebody out there wants to actually help somebody do this method and help somebody get it done a lot quicker and a lot faster and just way easier 
Go ahead and drop your Activision ID down in the comment section below, network with each other, build friendships, and actually help each other do some of these methods that I have here on the channel. That's honestly amazing. I see some of you guys already doing that, and that's honestly really great. So feel free to go ahead and drop your Activision ID down in the comment section below if you guys are really looking for somebody to do this method with. Like I said, I have no problem with that. I know some people are like, will you remove the comment? I don't remove comments ever. I leave comments up on the channel uh, regardless of what they are. I just leave them up unless it's something like, you know, derogatory or something really mean or disrespectful to somebody or something then I will go ahead and remove that. But if you guys are dropping your Activision ID, I'm not going to go ahead and remove that at all uh, because I tell you guys to drop your Activision ID for giveaways and stuff like that so I can add you guys. So go ahead and drop your Activision ID down in the comment section below if you guys are looking for somebody to do this method with or you guys are looking for friends or whatever the case is. If you guys don't have anybody online, go ahead and drop your Activision ID down there and people will add you guys. Drop your console too. Consoles are really important so people know exactly like how to add you and they know exactly what console you guys are on when they are adding you guys on Modern Warfare. Now what you guys will need when you guys are actually have your friend online, what you guys will actually need to do is he will need to go ahead and go into a special ops mission, any mission of his choice, it doesn't matter exactly what mission, um, just whichever one, I always do the one at the top because it's more convenient and way easier uh, for me to do the method. Uh, some people say they have better luck doing this with the bottom half of the missions and stuff like that. So do the top mission of survival is my recommendation. Uh, again, completely up to you guys. Uh, so basically, he needs to go ahead and go into a survival mission or a special ops mission, my bad, uh, of his choice. So once he goes into a special ops mission, you need to go ahead and load into a ground war game. He needs to go ahead and back out of that survival game, start up another one, and then invite you before the lobby gets full. So he needs to invite you as it's queuing for a match, as it's searching for a match, he needs to go ahead and invite you right into this lobby. You need to go ahead and accept that invite, get right into his lobby, make sure there's nobody else inside of that lobby like random players or whatever the case is because that will actually not work and it will mess up the lobby. Now once he actually has that set up, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go right back into a ground war game and then you want to go ahead and leave that game and join his private match that he should have already started uh, when he's doing this method. So he should already have a private match started on his uh, Modern Warfare obviously, so he should go ahead and start up a private match, capture the flag with seven bots inside of there. Seven bots, capture the flag on the map of Rust is what he should actually put it on. That is going to basically make it a lot easier, a lot faster because the map is so small and condensed. Uh, so when he's doing that now when you join back you guys should be unlocking camos unlocking challenges accolades all that stuff inside of this lobby It will not pop up on your screen that you guys are unlocking stuff But trust me it is there and it is actually uh, available and it is getting unlocked You guys just will not have to see like the blue tiger camo unlocked or gold camo unlocked It will not pop up on your screen as you guys are playing uh, So yeah, just sit in there get all your challenges get all your headshots all your long shots all that stuff uh, if you guys are on the map rust, go into the back right corner of the map and you guys should be able to see the bots over there and you guys can get long shots uh, inside of rust as well. Also, now one thing that I forgot to mention here on the channel or in this video, uh, do not use kill streaks. When you guys are in these lobbies, do not use kill streaks, do not use score streaks, any of that stuff. Do not call any AV, any of that stuff. If you guys are wanting to get launcher challenges, you guys are going to have to use that in like an actual multiplayer lobby. I know it's unfortunate, I know it sucks, but hey, you guys can still use the spot lobby to basically get like all of your camos on your AR, so machine guns, shotguns, all that stuff, snipers, uh, but the launchers you guys are not going to be able to use inside of this uh this gameplay or inside of the bot lobby my bad so with that being said that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video it really does help me out subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on and drop a comment of your activision id if you guys are wanting to enter the giveaway as well so with that being said i will be sure to go ahead and comment and reply to some of you guys that actually need help on this method and that you guys are wanting you know um, extra help or something like that i'm really trying to set up a stream so i can actually live stream myself doing some of these bot lobbies and damascus glitches for some of you guys uh but yeah so with that being said i will see you guys in the next video bye